Hey, Gaming Geek here to talk to you about Table War Fat Mats. These are mats that I've got for my table and I've got a couple of them, picked up a couple more at Adepticon and as promised, I'm gonna do a quick review of, about them. I really love these mats and I've actually made a how-to video for how to create your own terrain using a table. If you wanna see that, go ahead and click here. But after going through all that trouble, at the end of the day, I think I prefer these pre-printed mats that are on these mouse pad kind of material. And I'm gonna go through and just show you each one that I have, but they have worked out really well for my games. And Table War has a lot of variety. The size that I normally get is a four foot by four foot because that covers my table. But you can get them in all different kinds of sizes. The feel of these are really good as well. I think these are three millimeter mats. They have a grip on one side, although a couple of their mats do have um, double-sided prints on them, like my Kill Team mat here. And there's a lot of different kinds that you can purchase. The large ones, four foot by four foot, are $60 uh, with $10 shipping here in the United States. So $70 total. I think the smaller ones, the three foot by three foot, are 40 or $45 each, as well as the double-sided Kill Team mats. Also, we're gonna be giving away this mat here, and so stay tuned till the end of the video where I tell you how you can win this mat. One of the awesome features about these as well is they are spill-proof, so check this out. So if someone spills soda on here or any other beverage of choice and you can just uh, really quickly just wipe it up like this and it's not a problem at all. And so I just love that feature. It's easy to clean and won't mess up your table either. Let's start with the dungeon floor mat and this is my generic go-to mat that I leave on the table for playing board games and whatnot on here. But as you can see the details on here, it is like a dungeon floor. And I like how dark and uniform it is, so it functions really well as sort of a generic mat just to play on. Rolling dice on it is really nice. So you hear that it muffles it a little bit, but I really like the surface a lot, so I'll play most of my board games on top of this mat. But here's a shot of what it looks like with um, a, a dungeon layout. So here it is with some terrain on here. Just a basic layout of a dungeon. So if you have walls uh, but need a floor, a generic floor, this works out really well. These floors though aren't squared off into inches or anything like that. So if you needed inches, then you could get the purchase the overlay that goes over here and puts a grid, one inch grid on top of this mat. So the floor matches really well with any dungeon that you might want to have. What's awesome about these two is that they fit exactly inside the well if you did make the DIY gaming table that I posted. Click here if you need to take a look at that video. This is the ship interior mat and these squares are two inches wide. So it provides a nice grid to be able to be inside of a ship or even on a mechanical planet. Here it is with some terrain on it. This is battle systems. And it looks pretty good on this mat. This is the Cobble Town mat.
So this is what it looks like with some scenery on it. Uh, I threw on there some buildings from printable scenery, uh, the grave set from printable scenery as well. And these are Hearst Arts blocks. And this is this card is from Thingiverse, as well as the horses. These crates are from printable scenery. But the mat looks really good, especially with ruins. These uh, ruins match sort of a ruined city really well. And you can get this version with snow in it. I wish I actually would have gotten it with snow, but uh, this looks great. This is the Grassy Plains 2 mat and has a lot of fine details. And this is a mat that we're going to be giving away. Here it is with some scenery and miniatures from Rune Wars. And it looks great here on the battlefield with all of this terrain and the figures. And so any outdoor scene works great with this map. That is printable scenery. Winterdale Castle or Wintervale Castle. I also have in a 3x3 three three the Western Wastes, which I think can be used for either obviously a Western or Fallout Wasteland Warfare. I'm not going to set up the train for this, but I think the details on this also looks really good. And then finally I have my Kill Team mat double sided. This looks like it's part of the jungle mats. And then this side is urban warfare. And so this is, I think, 33 by 22 or something like that. I don't quite remember the exact dimensions. So that's a quick overview of the Table War fat mat mats. I hope this gives you an idea of what they look like and how they look with terrain on them, but it's a great gaming surface that you might want to consider. Also, Todd over at Table War gave me an extra one of these mats. If you want a chance to win this mat, go ahead and click on the link in the descriptions below to go to my Patreon page where you can become a patron for as low as one dollar and enter in for a drawing at the end of May of 2019. If it's past May of 2019, you can go ahead and click on the Patreon page anyway because you'll be able to see what we are currently raffling off for this month. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe and check out my other videos to see what is happening in the gaming community.